Hi! In this video, we're going to learn about if statements and conditionals in Carol. A Carol program crashes if there is a mistake in the code. The mistakes in code are called bugs. For example, if Carol runs into a wall, that means there's a bug in the code. To prevent these bugs, we can ask questions about Carol's world before commanding Carol to move, turn, or take tennis balls. We might want to ask, is Carol's front clear? Or maybe, are there any balls in Carol's current position? Or is Carol facing east? To ask these questions, we can use a structure called a conditional. A conditional is a function that returns either a true or false answer. Here's a list of all of the Carol conditions. When we use one of these conditional commands, it will return true or false. For example, we can ask, is the front clear? Well, it's not, so that's false. Or is there a ball present? Yep, that's true, there's a ball. Or is Carol facing east? No, Carol is not facing east. These are all questions Carol can ask about their world. We can use the response to these questions to determine what code to execute next to avoid Carol from crashing. In JavaScript, a common use of conditions is in an if statement. An if statement executes the code contained in the brackets only if the condition returns true. Otherwise, it will skip it. Let's take a look at the syntax. To write an if statement, we write the if keyword, the condition followed by curly braces, and the code body, which is the code that's executed if the condition is true. If the condition is false, it is not executed. It's skipped. Let's take a look at some examples of real life if statements. We can say if it's raining, then you can use an umbrella. In code format, this would look like this. If it is raining, use an umbrella. In Carol, what does that look like? Well, if the front is clear, then you can move. You wouldn't want to move if the front was blocked. That would be a bug. Let's highlight one specific thing. This open and close parentheses after front is clear. This is here because front is clear is a function and we're calling that function. When we call that function, a program will return either true or false. All right, let's take a look at some examples of writing if statements in the editor. In this program, we have Carol take a ball, move, and then take a ball. Let's see what happens when we run the program. Oh, we get an error. There's no tennis ball to pick up in that first spot. What we want to do here is have a condition that only picks up the tennis ball if there is a tennis ball. So let's write a function. We'll call this function safe take ball. And Carol will only take a ball if there's a ball there. We'll use an if statement along with a condition. And the condition we want to use is balls present. We want to check to see if there is a ball present where Carol is standing. Now in this function, in this if statement, we're going to use the command take ball. So now what we can do in our main function, instead of taking ball, let's use our new function called safe take ball. And this will have Carol only take the ball if there's one there. Let's see what happens. Perfect. Carol did not pick up a ball in the first spot because there wasn't one, and Carol did pick up the ball in the second spot. 